Hello and uh, welcome to another video tutorial here on Understanding Body Language Liars, Cheats and Happy Feet. Uh, okay, so I've just done a video tutorial from an interview here in Great Britain. However, uh, I've got another Michael Jackson video for you. Um, now this is Lisa Marie Presley uh, on the Oprah Winfrey Show. Um, and now then, I'm just going to run through uh, Lisa Marie's non-verbals and see what she's saying. Um, is accurate or if there's any signs of um, concealed anger or guilt uh, or anything she's saying might be fabricated in some way. So we'll start the video at the beginning and let's see if we can spot uh, anything that takes an eye. So here we go. Did he have to die for you to recognize that he loved you? Um, I think I think so, sadly. Now, look at that pacifying gesture there. Big, deep breath in, exhale, and talk. Watch it again. It's still a very sensitive issue for Lisa Marie Presley. And we can clearly see that um, uh, stress uh, releasing through the body via a big intake of air. So it's almost like a relief that she potentially wants to talk about this now by that big exhale. And let's see your number. Um, I think I think so. Sadly, is that the first time you recognised or believed that you? Treated... And that's a consistent answer with what she's just done. Is she just taking a big deep breath in there and breathe that and saying uh, no, not really? Then that's inconsistent because we're seeing signs of stress coming in through the body, um, and we're seeing consistencies with the verbal communication. If she said no, so obviously. We know she's saying um, what non-verbally she's saying yes, and she confirms that with a verbal answer. For you to recognise that he loved you, um, I think I think so. Sadly, is that the first time you recognised or believed that he truly loved you after he died? Um, I think yes. Sweeping answer would be yes. When we were together, we were really in love, and then we had the rough patches, and then I had to make a decision to walk because I saw that the drugs and the doctors were coming in, and they scared me and put me right back into what I went through with my father, so I... Okay, right. So what I notice here is example of mirroring leg positions. If you see Oprah Winfrey's leg position and you see Lisa Marie's leg position, this is good. This is a good indicator that these two have actually got good rapport with each other, which is good. What I also noticed about Lisa Marie is how her facial expressions have dropped from over the years. She looks very emotionless across the face, and it almost looks like the um, the facial muscles in the zygomatic region here are slightly elongated, which might come with a strong antidepressant use, uh, which I've covered in other videos. We're quite used to Lisa Marie Presley being quite animated. Now, if we go scoop back to Lisa Marie Presley here with... Um, uh, Diane Sawyer from a few years ago. We can see how she here is very animated. Facially, hands everywhere. Just click off that. If we click back on this, we can clearly see a sharp contrast to how she is now. Now, granted that she's talking about a different topic. Now, here she's talking about Michael uh, in the past tense, obviously because he's passed away. Um, but these kind of um, behavioural uh, uses we have often don't change. What we can see here is Lisa is a lot more reserved. Ended it and then we again. And, and facially, um, physiognomy, which is the interpretation of um, character based on facial expressions and temperament, here looks very, very we sad. We still spent four more years after we... So we can see that over the um, the years, um, that uh, this stress of, of uh, Michael Jackson passing away has taken its toll on Lee Summary here. Forced. Really? Getting back together and breaking up and talking about getting back together and breaking up. And, and at some point, I had to push it away. So that's called a gestural emblem. And we all know what that means. It's pretty much universal. If I was to put my hand up like that, it means stop. And she's using consistencies here by she's saying she had to stop. Listen. I've been talking about getting back together and breaking up. And, and at some point, 
had to push it away. So I push it away, away, and she's using that illustrator now. Um, so she's using an illustrator, or, or, or sometimes called a regulator, to mimic the, the action of what the verbal communication is saying. So pushing it away, and we're making a gestural emblem here. It just, I wasn't moving forward with myself. So and also when she says moving really forward, look out for that fleeting um, gesture. And together and breaking up. And, and at some point, I had to push it away. So push, it was just not, and watch the hand just, rolls here. I wasn't moving there you go. So what Lisa Marie Presley here is talking about uh, is the truth. Very much. I left him to put my to sort of stomp my foot into the ground. So what we're seeing here is concealed anger. That facial expression there is concealed anger. Uh, look at the clenching of the fist here as well. Watch it back in real time, and you'll be able to see the concealed Very anger. Much. I left him to put my to sort of. Dump my foot into the ground and go. I, I was trying to take a stand and say. So we can see frustrations here coming this. through from Lisa Marie. And it was a stupid move because he didn't. And he was just, you know, he's a stubborn. Uh, I'm stubborn. He's stubborn. The two of us, it was like, you know. Don't make a dare you're not willing to follow through on. Right. So I, I made a stupid move. And, and, and I, I, I actually afterwards. So what we're seeing there still, is a stutter and a use of a pacifying gesture there, which is a scratch yeah, of the chin. And, and, and I, I, I actually afterwards. And we also yeah. manifest with an asymmetrical shoulder shrug. Watch this. Watch three um, gestures here of stress. Right. So I, I made a stupid move. And, and, and Paralinguistic I, I, error. Asymmetrical yeah, shoulder still, shrug pacifying gesture there so we yeah, can obviously I, see I, this I question causes Lisa Marie world, still a lot so of stress and anxiety uh, for years to follow when was the last time you spoke to uh, coherently good conversation was in 2005 um, it was a very long conversation and I was so removed from him and he could feel it and he could hear it and I think that's one of the things that killed me in the end too was that I was very um, distanced and he was checking to get a read. You know, he was trying to throw a line out to see if I would bite emotionally, and I wouldn't. I was pretty shut off at that point. And I don't even know how I managed to be like that. But I... And what we've got in examples there is this time is a double shrug. Look at that. Emotionally, and I wouldn't. I was pretty shut off at that point. There we go. And I don't even know there how you I go. managed to so be like So a double like shoulder that. shrug is a good sign. Me, he wanted to tell me it shows us that she that really doesn't he, know why she was like that. And that's a good sign. Again, if that one side asymmetrical shoulder shrug comes up, there's a reason why only one side's going up, and it might be because they're uh, they're withholding information or potentially concealing information that they don't want us to know about. That I was right about a lot of the people around him, and that it had panned out to be exactly what he and I had talked about years ago. And he asked if I still loved him, and we went into a whole thing about that. And I told him I was indifferent, and he didn't like that word. And he cried, and he was just trying to find out where I was at and how I could become so detached. And then the final part of the conversation was him uh, telling me that he felt that um, that someone was going to try and kill him to get a hold of his catalog and his his estate. And I really didn't know what to do with that. So again, we're seeing an example there of a double-sided symmetrical shoulder shrug, but know how the eyes go. His estate. There you go. So the eyes go up. Now, then we often associate the eyes going up with creativity and something called additional cognitive processing. So allowing um, um, time for us to think about something. However, uh, creativity comes with inconsistent other bodily gestures like asymmetrical gestures, things like asymmetrical facial expressions and asymmetrical body gestures. Here we see a double sided shoulder shrug here from Melissa Marie. Um, I think the statement throughout that had no speech errors, everything was consistent, there was no paralinguistic errors. Uh, telling Apart me from at the end, that, when um, he says, and. Someone was going to try and kill him. Well, I think to this get part here. Hold of his catalog and his, his estate. And I really didn't know what to do with that. So, so yeah. I think that part there looks to be honest. Or from what uh, Lisa Marie knows about it, it looks like she's being honest about that. He actually gave you names. He did. And I, I would like not to say them, but he, he expressed to me uh, his concern over his, uh, sir, his life. Okay, so that's very interesting. Know, as you stood over his casket, were you able to make... Uh, Let's fast forward, Slally. Two novels in one. Then read along with me at Oprah.com. Okay. You know, I asked you this, the, and I have to ask it again, uh, even though it's an uncomfortable subject, but 
when you were on the show the first time, I think I asked you this, whether you had ever seen any inappropriate behavior between Michael Jackson and young children. Mm-hmm. Are you asking me again? I'm asking you again. The answer is absolutely uh, not in any way. Mm-hmm. I did not see anything like that. So, so that's a genuinely and, honest like, reply. Me on drugs, I said yes, because all I saw... You know, there was a few year period there where he was random things were coming out, whether it was a Martin Bashir interview or mm-hmm. various okay. interviews. And in those interviews, I saw him intoxicated. I didn't see Michael that I knew in that Martin Bashir interview. I saw, I, he was high as a kite from what I saw. Okay. So that looks like knew, honesty as well. He was either we're seeing too speedy or he was examples here of illustrators. It wasn't the Michael that I knew. The shocking things. He said some pretty shocking things in that Martin Bashir interview, particularly about how he felt it was okay okay so we're still seeing an example of mirroring foot positions here um that chair position is fantastic um so they're both angling it in it into each other uh, and it's a non-threatening pose i think he said that stuff sometimes to be defiant because he got so angry at at, at, that that having been acute i think that sometimes he was such a little stubborn rebel sometimes and he was like a child and he would just say what he felt everyone didn't want him to say Mm -hmm. I don't feel like he, he was had a straight head uh, during those things. And I think that they were edited in a very, very manipulative, nasty uh, way. Well, I'm glad Lisa Maria said that because I said that throughout my entire uh, catalogue of Michael Jackson videos is that the way uh, he is portrayed through the interviews, um, like Martin Bashir and Diane Sawyer and things like that, are horrendous. It makes Michael Jackson look out, uh, appear to be some kind of monster, which he clearly isn't, because throughout the videos I've done on Michael, I've seen categoric hallmarks of honesty throughout his entire videos. I see no signs that he's lying about anything. He's very honest, he's very truthful, and I'm so glad Lisa like Maria said like that. Had a straight head. Mm-hmm. Uh, during those things, and I think that they were edited in a so very, this bit very is emphatic, nasty uh, way. So you never saw anything, and to this day, you don't believe that any of those charges were true. No, I mean I can. I honestly cannot say. The only people that are ever going to be able to honestly say the truth are him and whoever was in the room at the time of whatever allegedly took place. I was never in that room. It would be unfair for me to. I can tell you, I never saw anything like that. Have you now made peace with his death? I know you watched the funeral that we all saw on television, and I know that you went to the private funeral ceremony. What was that like, okay. standing in the room with his casket? Mm. This that is a hot question for Lisa. Let's see how she responds. So we've got a, a massive pacifying gesture there. We see a flash of sadness, micro-expression-wise. Not that. That was... So we've got head down, eyes down. Um, really... Pacifying. Another six months of more to recover from, I think. But, you know, I was the last one standing with him. Um, and... That was, you what know, do you mean, last one standing? Well, look, and we can see that expression there where the eyelids drop down. Lock that here again. So, obviously, there. I think. Mm-hmm. Not but, there again? You know, I was the last one standing with him. Um, and. There we go. So, something must have registered in her brain for that emotion to trigger. That was. What know, do you mean, last one standing? Well, most people. And she doesn't discuss what was on her mind I went then. back in and I was alone with him. Standing over him, you know, I didn't want to leave him. So, as you stood over his casket, uh, I know it's, you know, it's, it's there's probably nothing more, uh, you know, personal or private uh, than those those moments. As you stood over that casket, were you able to make peace? Mm-hmm. No. I don't think I could make peace then. I think that I... So now we're using examples of an eye touch here. And we show eye touches here and we touch around when we feel often guilty about something. I wanted to apologize. Something more was like... And we can see frustration. I, like I wanted to apologize for not being around 
So yeah. now we've got guilt. I think he could have saved it. That's such a hard question. And we're going back to repeated touches here. Okay, if I pause that and showed this picture to 100 people, 99 times out of 100, you would associate that particular expression with sadness. If you didn't know the context, it looks sadness. And we um, can see here. Naively, I want to say, I know that it's naive to think that I could have, but I wanted to. So we're seeing I, sadness. Had I we're seeing guilt. Call, had I stopped being so turned, shut off from him? Had I just Remorseful. said, how are you? Can I try to make a phone call? You know, I really did regret that I didn't. Do you think that family and friends let him down? Do you think that somebody could have done something? I think that they tried. And I, and, I, and, and sadly, um, like I said, if, if he didn't want you, right, you're going to make him confront him. If he didn't want to confront him, he can make it go away, including his own family. And... So it's in a different side here to Lisa Marie, a very somber, remorseful, uh, and now she's telling us she's feeling guilty as well. So we're seeing a slight a remorse a coming in here as well. I don't know if anyone could have stopped, and, I, and I've had to really get my head around that in order to stop the, the pain for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, right here, so let's just fast forward this ever so slightly, and we're back. Your current husband, who seems like a really loving generous okay right here okay so we'll end the interview there so that's the analysis done on lisa marie uh, now bearing in mind the other interview that she did with diane sawyer is a complete contrast to this where she was very animated uh, in that last uh, interview i saw with uh, with michael jackson at the time which was very animated and she got very stressed out about how diane sawyer um how the interview style was we can see a different side and, here because you got so angry it's so more relaxed it's more reserved um, Lisa Marie. Um, often I said about her facial expressions might be um, influenced some way by some kind of medication. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know Lisa Marie, but I can only read her face. Um, she looks very sad, um, and it's often coming out with flashes of sadness, like we discussed there. Uh, I think what the the vast majority of what Lisa Marie Presley has said here looks honest and looks the truth. I see no signs of deception. I see very few um, um, manipulators. Or adapters or things which flash that might um, um, fire the warning signs for me that she might be lying about anything. We, see, we do see pacifying gestures. We see clusters with asymmetrical shoulder shrug, uh, paralinguistic errors, the stutters and the scratch. So that was a particularly hot question for Lisa Murray. However, what she's talking about now is the truth. And we can see that manif that sadness manifesting uh, when she talks about the um, how she felt. Um, does she feel responsible in some way? So there we go. So that's Lisa Marie covered here on Understanding Body Language. Uh, if you get the time, please check out my Facebook page. Uh, I'll just click onto it now. Facebook have changed everything around, so I just want to make double sure I can access it. And here we go. Uh, just type in Understanding Body Language, Liars, Cheats and Happy Feet into your Facebook search thing. Everything pops up on here. Um, if you'd like to leave me a comment or um, you know give me some feedback on this, that would be great. And uh, if you'd like me to do any more videos, then please let me know. So, from everyone here at Understanding Body Language, I hope you enjoyed that. Take care and bye-bye for now.